Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little model kit. Um, it's one of those kits that come in um, the, I don't know what it is, things that are attached together and you got to um, cut them apart. And then like you stick them together and they fit together nicely. I've done a few of them of um, Aileen Doll's little dragons. So this is the Pokemon one today. So it comes with all the Charmander, Charmeleon and Charizard. Um, if you know, uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. So I got this little kit for my birthday um, and it seems to be a Japan exclusive or a Japan import. Um, I got it from a place here in um, Melbourne called Critical Hit. Uh, and they sort of specialize in um, Japanese imported things. Um, so everything's in Japanese. So um, I am learning Japanese, but I can't actually read it properly yet. Um, and here's a little list of um, the other little kits that you can get. Um, so they have some pretty cool kits. I don't know if I would um, get any more. And they're not too big. So uh, maybe I could get some more because um, they don't take up too much space and they're kind of fun. But I haven't actually seen any other kits anywhere else. I suppose you could find it on eBay or something or, you know, some reseller in the country. So like I said before, it comes in these little kit things that are attached. Um, I think they're pressed out on like a, a plastic press. Um, and that way you just cut the little tabs off and then each piece should fit in together nicely. So you don't need any glue. Um, and this one comes with stickers. Some of them come with um, water stamps where you have to transfer it with water but this one comes with stickers. So I'm going to start with little Charmander. Um, it's a tiny little, tiny little Charmander um, and it's really, really easy. So I just popped off all of the pieces. I didn't need to follow the instructions because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so it's just like four pieces, the two body pieces, tail and the little fire bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the stickers on. I, I actually don't like the stickers at all. I think they kind of look a bit crappy. So I might go ahead and um, take all the stickers off and just paint it up again. Um, just the same way that I did my little Aileen doll ones that I painted up and gave a face up to. So I might do the same for these three um, kits as well. So the eyes turned out okay. Um, I probably wouldn't need to do the eyes. They, they look good and they fit in place nicely so but the the underbelly just looks a bit weird as you can see it sort of puckers a little bit in the corners even though they allowed for that but I just I don't like the way it looks I think it ruins it um, so I might make another video of painting um, these little kits anyway so let me know in the comments if you're interested in um, the painting for these I might make a video if you're interested and moving on to Charmeleon, and again, this was pretty easy as well. A few more parts than Charmander, um, but again, not really, really easy. So I just went ahead and popped off all of the pieces and just put them together, because again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and But the feet with this one are white, um, I guess because I didn't want to put uh, an extra part for the claws itself, and so they just did the feet white. Um, so I did go ahead and put the stickers on for the feet, which turned out okay, but uh, it's still not, you know, it looks it, they look like stickers on a piece of plastic. So uh, I think I might try and repaint the feet on this one, but I don't really know how well the paint will actually stick to it. Um, but then again, you know, I did it on my little Aileen doll dragon, so I'll just have to uh, treat it like a face up on a BJD and just go ahead and spray some matte varnish so I can actually put some paint on it. So yeah, look, I gave the stickers on the feet a go. They don't look too bad, um, but when you look at it closely, it looks like stickers and um, the way the claws are done as well is the sticker sort of, it's got a cut in the middle and the sticker sort of wraps around the claw, but you can see where the stick is cut, you know, if you know what I mean. I don't know if it will come up on camera, but um, yeah, I'm just not really happy with the way that looks, but you know, it's just a model kit, so it's not a big deal, but uh, I'm a little bit particular about the way things look. So I'll definitely do the underbellies on this because that just kind of looks ridiculous. And again, the eyes turned out really well, so I probably wouldn't have to do the eyes, even though um, underneath the eyes have etchings out, so you could paint them, no problem, uh, like a paint by numbers type thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's a little size comparison next to Charmander. 
And the next one we're going to the Charizard and the Charizard is a lot more complex than the rest of them so there are a lot more pieces and a lot more stickers to do. So um, I did follow the instructions so the, the instructions are pretty self-explanatory as well. Um, it's, it's all picture related so even though they have Japanese writing um, you can tell what the pictures are trying to describe anyway. So the stickers for the mouth area looked okay as well, so they have little cutouts that fit around the teeth and because you can't really see inside the mouth, um, so it's not a big deal, so it just looks pretty good, so I'll probably leave these stickers as well. Um, but the mouth is like impossible to get open once it's closed, um, but you can see it has a little etching on the head as well. So moving on to the neck part, um, so the Charizard has a lot of moving parts, so the jaw is movable. The head itself is movable and the neck joint is movable as well as the wings and I think the tail is a tiny bit and the arms and the legs as well so it's pretty pretty poseable and um, it's got a good range of movement as well for a little kit. So going ahead and putting the mechanism in for the wings so it's got like a three part mechanism where uh, you move one wing and the other wing will move as well um, so I had to follow the instructions for that I got a bit confused. Um, where the mechanism fits but worked it out in the end and everything went pretty smoothly as well so you have to put it all in the one um, side of the body rather than both sides of the body I thought it was both sides of the body but no it's just one and then you click the other side in so this is a little tail part where the tail will click into and move just a tiny bit and this is a neck mechanism that will um, where the neck will sit <laughs> sorry you got my cat in the background there uh. She could be very vocal and she argues at you. <laughs> so that's what she was doing. Anyway, so putting the body together and I'm putting the underbelly on and I'm, I much prefer the way this underbelly is. It's, um, you know, already colored and stuff. So the claws were actually white and um, they provided you with this weird sticker that just doesn't work at all. So um, they kind of expected the sticker to wrap around the handpiece and <laughs> look like the rest of the body but it's like the total wrong colour and it doesn't actually fit around there anyway so uh, it looks horrible. <laughs> look at it! So I'm going to go ahead and remove that sticker and paint it up as well um, just so it matches the rest of the body. This it just looks really crappy the way it is um, but anyway so once that is done we can put the arms into the Charizard piece and I'm gonna leave the other hand uh, white because I will just end up doing it anyway so moving on to the leg pieces and the leg pieces are pretty easy too so they have four parts with um, uh, fortunately, it has a separate claw part, so you don't have to go ahead and um, put any stickers on. And um, they just fit together like that and fit on the little um, round circle, and they're a little bit poseable as well. Um, so, yeah, no extra work with these ones, which is great, not like the Charmeleon one. All right, we're getting there. So, moving on to the tail part. And again, the tail part is, I think, four pieces. So, it's got two sides of the flames, the underbelly, and the tail piece. And they just click in together really easily. And, and then they just fit onto that piece we put in the body, uh, which can uh, has a little bit of move movability. Um, and then we can move on to the wings where we have uh, really big stickers to fit inside the wing piece which I think works pretty well for this particular one because it takes the form of the actual uh, wing um, that's underneath so I think it works pretty well and I don't think I'll end up painting this one um, so just got to be careful that there's no bubbles underneath there and, and then it just fits in like you know just snaps in really quickly. So a quick little look of Charizard um, before I put the uh, stickers on anywhere else. Uh, just, I think it's actually just the eyes and I'll put sticker on. So you can see just how difficult it is to open the mouthpiece. You actually need to stick something in the tiny little uh, gap there to pry it open. So I'm just going to put some tweezers in there just to open it up a bit. But if it's closed, there's like no chance of opening that mouth. But it's a nice little effect where um, you can actually open the mouth on the Charizard. So um, going ahead and putting the eyes on, uh, same deal as Charmander and Charmeleon. Where, yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up taking these off and painting them at all because they look pretty good as it is, so no big deal there. And just go ahead and do the other eye. Thank you. 
All right, once that's done, let's go over and have a look at what the Charizard can actually do. So here he is with the moving mouthpiece and the moving headpiece. It's got a good range of motion as well. Um, and looks pretty good in any, I prefer it with the down angle um, and the mouth open. And here is the posability of the neck piece as well. So good range of motion. Uh, the wings go back and forth, uh, limited range of motion I think, but nice little touch as well um, if you want to handle um, this particular one. And the tail has a really small, small, small range of motion. Um, I don't really know where you're supposed to pose it, but um, it's there. It only moves just a tiny bit. You can see the gap at the bottom there. Um, and the little fire piece just sits on a ball socket. So here's it, what it looks like. And look back on the Charmeleon, you can see the size difference as well. And the stickers keep coming off, so I probably will end up painting um, the feet on the Charmeleon. But um, for now, it looks pretty good in the distance, so you can't really tell. At least it's the same colour, unlike the Charizard handpiece thing. It looks a bit weird. And then another look at Charmander. Tiny little Charmander. Alright, and that is it for me today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any requests, you can leave it in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!